Hello everyone, welcome back. So recently I've had a couple of people ask me what they need if they want to start playing squash as well as if there's any special equipment or anything they need to buy. So I've decided to show you all exactly what's in my squash bag and while I'm doing that I'll just talk you through exactly what you'll need if you do want to start playing. So this is my squash bag. It's just a Caracal backpack. It looks quite big next to me. It is just normal backpack size. I'm just a small human. <laughs> but yeah, I've been using this bag for about two years now. I did used to use one of the bigger caracol bags, but yeah, it was just a bit too big for me. So I much prefer this bag as it is smaller, but it still fits everything I need in it. Anyway, enough about the actual bag itself. I'll show you what's inside. So in this back part here, I just have my two rackets. So these are the Caracal F125s, um, they are the same racket, they just look different as this one's got factory strings in it and this one's got strings that I put in it myself because this is the racket I use all the time. But yeah, you definitely do need a racket to play squash, but you don't need two and you definitely don't even need one as most centers, actually all centers that I know have rackets that you can borrow or hire. So I'd suggest doing that for anyone that just wants to try squash for the first time or just want to go for a casual hit or anything like that. But if you do want to start playing more, then yeah, I'd suggest buying your own racket as every racket obviously plays a little bit different and it's important to get the right weight for you and everything like that. So I think the lightest weight is 90 grams and the heaviest is like 140 or 150 grams. I could be wrong so don't quote me on that. But yeah, I currently use this racket which is 125 grams. So yeah, if you are looking at playing more then yeah, I definitely suggest um, investing in your own racket. Maybe just one to begin with. Next in my bag in this uh, top section here, I just have... Dun, dun, dun. Some eyewear. These are also Caracol eyewear. I think these are like an older version because I used to wear these when I was a junior. Anyone would think I'm sponsored. Hey, everything's Caracol. I guess I just like the brand, but I'm not actually sponsored. But Caracol, if you're watching this, feel free to sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, eyewear. So it is compulsory for anyone under 19 to wear I wear. I don't actually wear them anymore, but I just have them in my bag in case I'm going to play doubles because it is still compulsory for everyone to wear eyewear while playing doubles. And that's all I have in that top part there. And then in the main section here, I just have my water bottle. Obviously, keep hydrated. That's self-explanatory. Um, I have a book. So I tend to keep a book in my bag because if I'm at training all day doing like two sessions or anything like that, I like to read between sessions. Then I have my squash shoes. So I just wear these black ASICS indoor court shoes. Obviously you need shoes to play squash, but you definitely don't need like squash specific shoes when you're first starting. You can just wear your normal joggers or runners when you first start, as long as the sole of them is non-marking. That's really the only important thing to start with. But yeah, if you are gonna start playing squash more, like I said with the rackets, I would suggest investing in a pair of squash shoes as obviously they'll look after your feet a bit more with the stopping and starting and everything like that because that's what they're designed for. Next I have a hand towel. So I always just have a hand towel in my bag because you get quite sweaty playing squash so it's just to wipe the sweat off my face, my hands, everything like that. Then I have some socks. So I always pack a spare pair of socks. So if I'm just playing once, I'll pack two pairs. So I have a spare pair, if I'm playing twice, I'll pack three pairs. I just wear like just normal black ankle socks. Not for any reason, just like personal preference. I don't know why I told you guys, you guys probably don't care. <laughs> um, and I have some deodorant. Obviously, don't wanna be stanky. And then I have my skipping rope. This is just for when I warm up. And lastly, in that section, I just have a massage ball. Obviously, most people know what this is for, just for like trigger points and stuff like that. Really good for releasing your glutes. 
and oh yeah that was the last thing in that section and then here it looks like it's another pocket but it's not it actually just goes into the main section as well it used to have like an extra lining in there and that's like where you could put your shoes but I overfilled my bag one too many times and it ended up breaking so I just cut it out <laughs> oops in the front here I have some spare grips you do need to change the grips on your racket as they get older they get slippery um, the grip on my racket right now is actually quite old and needs changing because it's getting slippery so I might do that after this actually um, but yeah I always carry spare grips just in case next I have a pen I'm not really sure why I guess you'll never know when you need a pen <laughs> um, then I have a whole heap of headbands I have this like thicker one and then I have all these thin ones they're not sweatbands or anything they're literally just to keep the hair out of my face then I have a lip balm just because I'm one of those people that carries lip balm everywhere and I have a dollar obviously change from some time and ah, another lip balm I actually thought I lost this lip balm this is my favorite lip balm that's really exciting um but yeah anyway that's all that's in my squash bag and that's all that's really ever in my squash bag unless I'm playing twice in one day at training or a tournament or anything like that then I'll pack another set of squash clothes, a bath towel and my toiletries so that I can have a shower and get changed obviously. So yeah, um, pretty much all you need to start playing squash is a squash racket which you don't even need to buy yourself, you can borrow one and just a pair of non-marking shoes, that's all you really need to start playing. If there is anything else you'd like to know about squash or anything like that, feel free to comment down below or send me a message or anything like that. I might actually put a questions thing on my Instagram story, maybe after this video is up. I've never actually done that before, but there's a first time for everything. So yeah, I'll do that. Other than that, I hope you're all having a lovely day or night wherever you are, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.